Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. This video is about visualizing your selected data using the chart and map options in the FuseNet Data Explorer. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. In this video, you'll learn to visualize data as charts and maps, interact with the visualizations, and download static images of them. To start off, we'll choose a domain and select some data. I'm going to go to the prices domain and do a search for maize in Cameroon. I'm going to select a couple of data series and then scroll down to the chart. This chart shows the change in price over time for the data series I've selected. And there are a few ways I can interact with the chart, including using the zoom options to choose a different time period, There's also a slider at the bottom, which I can drag to adjust the dates that way. I can hover over a point to get more detail. Coming down to the legend, I can deselect a data series to hide it from the chart and click again to add it back. It's also important to note our customization options to the right of the chart including options to change the currency and weight. This is covered in more detail in our how-to video dedicated to the customize and download options, so check that out for more information. Once I'm happy with the chart, I can go to the download icon and I'll either view it in full screen, print the chart, or choose a format to download the static image in. Moving to the map tab, we'll see the percent change in price from the prior month by location. By default, the most recent period date for which we have data is selected, and we have options to move along the timeline or use the calendar function to choose a different date. I have the option to zoom in and out of the map. And I can select the point on the map to see more detail. And once I'm happy with everything, I can go over here to save map. And this will download a PNG image. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to help.fuse.net/fde and don't forget to subscribe to the Fusenet channel for more how-tos.